Dear Psych2Goers, welcome back to our channel. We're so glad to see you here and we're very grateful for your ongoing love and support. Psych2Go's mission is to help everyone learn about self-help and mental health in a more digestible manner. Now, let's continue with the video. Did you know that 60% of the population believes in soulmates? They say someday you'll find your perfect match. Someday you'll find the one. But how do you know when you've met the one? Or what if you already have? To make sure you don't miss your perfect match, here are 10 signs you stumbled upon your soulmate. One, you share strength. In good times and bad, soulmates offer each other strength. When your partner needs you, you are their rock. But when your life spirals out of control, they'll set aside their problems and be there for you too. Your soulmate will always be a shoulder to cry on and always give you a hug when you need it. If you found the one, you found a lifelong source of strength. Two, you connect emotionally. Soulmates understand their partners better than anyone. If you found the one, you and your partner connect on a deeper level. You understand their emotions. You know what makes them smile and laugh. You and your partner may deal with your own emotions differently, but you truly get each other and you stay connected in deeply personal ways. Number three, you challenge each other. Your soulmate will be your biggest fan. They will love you, respect you, and admire you. They wanna see you find happiness and success, so they'll challenge you to better yourself. Soulmates aren't afraid to give constructive criticism or help their partners overcome bad habits. Sometimes tough love is the greatest gift one partner can give another. If you found the one, they'll celebrate your victories and they'll also push you to greater heights. Number four, you really apologize. Do you apologize just to end the conversation? Do you say you're sorry to get your partner off your back? When soulmates apologize, they mean it. They say they're sorry because they recognize what they're doing is wrong or hurtful. They aren't looking for shortcuts. They won't lie to calm you down. The one will mean it when they apologize because they want the best for your relationship. Number five, you put in equal effort. Are you doing all the work in your relationship? If you found the one, your partner will be just as eager as you are. You both put effort into the relationship because you both want to see each other. It may feel easy to organize time together as well. On the other hand, if you're the only one texting, calling, and planning, you may not have found the one. Six, you've crossed paths before. Have you crossed paths before? Do your lives seem to effortlessly intertwine? Some say the universe naturally brings soulmates together. Even if you don't believe in this power, this sign is incredibly important. If you continue to cross paths, it means your lives blend together. Your schedules and lifestyles fit like two puzzle pieces. It's rare to find someone whose life mirrors your own. If you cross paths again and again, you may have found the one. Seven, you don't hide anything. In the early stages of a relationship, you may hide your true self. You show your partner the best version of yourself while hiding your deficits and weaknesses. But as the relationship grows, you're faced with a difficult decision. Do you keep playing pretend or do you show your weak spots to your partner? If you feel comfortable exposing your vulnerabilities and being yourself, you may have found the one. Eight, you share values. Do you and your partner have the same values? You two may come from opposite backgrounds. Your lives may have unfolded very differently yet you view the world through a similar lens. You may share the same ideals, morals, and values. Similar experiences have shaped you as like-minded people. If you and your partner have these fundamental things in common, you may have discovered your soulmate. Nine, you openly express concerns. Do you feel comfortable expressing concerns to your partner? Soulmates are open and honest with each other. They're not afraid to talk about anything from the highest highs to the lowest lows. This unspoken faith requires a strong, trusting bond. Otherwise, expressing your honest concerns may damage the relationship. If you feel comfortable coming to your partner with anything, they may be your soulmate. And number 10, you plan ahead. Do you and your partner agree on the big picture? When you imagine your future, is your partner a part of it? If the answer is yes, you may have found your soulmate. Soulmates plan ahead with their partners in mind. They can't envision a future without you in it. To show you how important you are, the one will look into the future. 
They may, for example, invite you to an event next year. Planning so far ahead means they see you in their lives. If you feel the same, you may have found your perfect match. So, have you found the one for you? Why or why not? Tell us about your experiences in the comments below. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to Psych2Go for more psychology content. If you found this video helpful, share it with someone who would also benefit from it. And as always, thanks for watching. See you soon.